Hi, I'm Sage Blank and I'm running to be your next JSLT. My goal as your JSLT is to improve rock science and make it a place that you love. Here's how. First, let's create an SLT suggestion box. As JSLT, I will represent your voice in school policies. I want to make it easier for your complaints to reach the JSLT, so I will introduce a Google form where you can submit comments on what you would like to see discussed at future SLT meetings. Let's improve school sphere. I want to hold pep rallies throughout the year to support our sports team and celebrate their success. We'll have athlete sphere days where student athletes are encouraged to wear their uniforms and everyone to wear their wrong signs merchandise. Let's make our cultural learning extend past cultural week. I'll implement a student-led diversity initiative where students can teach the Bronx Science community about their culture through Wolverine TV, morning announcements, or summaries. There's so much diversity in our school and it deserves to be celebrated. Let's involve our alumni more. Bronx Science has an impressive alumni network, so let's introduce events throughout the year. We'll create alumni event tours, Q&A sessions, and speakers. Create is great, but we can use our alumni to further our learning throughout the whole school year. That's it for now, but remember, on April 7th, don't blank. Vote for Sage! 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 Hey Bronx Science, I'm Melina Galetto and I'm running to be your JSLT. My top priority is to ensure that you feel heard in your own school environment. I will represent and amplify your voices and make sure I tackle the issues that we feel are most prevalent here at Bronx Science. There is a disconnect between students and school policymakers. Students must have access to important information about the school, especially information discussed during SLT meetings. The school website advertises that students and parents are welcome to attend SLT meetings, but people rarely know about this opportunity. I will ensure that SLT meeting notes, times, dates, and locations are easily accessible to students and parents through the use of social media, Wolverine TV, and Next Week in Preview emails. Information about hygiene and period health is not easily accessible to students who have not taken health. It is essential to the development of Bronx Science students that we have access to information about our bodies and how to properly care for them. I will distribute informational pamphlets around the school on hygiene and period health targeted at students who have not yet taken health. As a member of the Hispanic community here at Bronx Science, I understand that we may be small in numbers, but this does not mean we should feel unheard in our own school community. The best course of action is to create a committee where individuals can raise concerns and make connections amongst the Hispanic community here at Bronx Science, including students, staff, and parents. And remember, on April 7th, Go for Malaya! Go for Malaya! Go for Malaya! Go for Malaya! Good morning, Bronx Science. Sound familiar? That's me, Jessica Singh, for you the news daily. Now, ready to be your next JSLT. We walk you through my policies. Hey, everybody, intern Joseph Holt with the Taiwan Institute of Health Sciences. Today, we're going to talk about the future. No matter all the alumni network, let's bridge those connections with alumni and students to help you better understand what you want to do in the future and get some experience. This math is so hard. Don't worry, with me as your next JSLT, we'll make sure you got more tutoring options. And if you want to tutor a subject or volunteer credit, we'll make that happen too. Thanks to Jess, I can help. I am parched. Where is all the water? Jess LT will fix it. The warning lines are so in the first yeah. Jess for JSLT will fix that. Oh, no toilet paper. Still no toilet paper. Oh my god, Jess LT? With me as your next JSLT, I'll make sure the bathroom is used off. With Jess LT, you'll get a voice and more representation. What else? What else? Let's have online cup corrections, outdoor seating, more snacks and drink options, and a clear way for you to talk to your leadership via service. On April 7th, but don't forget, you know best, vote for Jess. You know best, vote for Jess. You know best, vote for Jess. Vote Jess. Vote for Jess. Vote Jess. Hi juniors, my name is Annie Chen and I'm running to be your senior council president. As this stressful year comes to an end, I have no doubt that the thought of a senior year is just as stressful. 
But luckily, that is why I'm here to introduce my platform of ideas and will convince you to trust me with your senior year. Here, follow me. If elected, I intend to build senior year around three main values. Memorable, inclusive, and community building. Examples? For memories, I will host a token festival where we can make something to remember senior year by. For inclusiveness, a year-long online scrapbook event. For community, a senior Olympics. I will advocate for creative senior spirit activities that extend further than dressing up for a day. I want to host a senior night live, a senior sunset, a signing day, and more. I will dedicate myself to making your ideas heard so that prom, graduation, and homecoming will be the best events designed by you. As you can see, I have many ideas. Senior year is the time before our lives change forever, so who's to stop us from having fun? Now, it's up to you to decide if you want a memorable, inclusive, and community-building senior year. No, I'm not trying to gaslight you, just remember. Anytime, anywhere. Vote Annie Chen! Vote Annie Chen! Vote Annie Chen! For a good time. Vote Annie Chen for Senior Council President. Like, guys, guys, stop. Vote for Kanai for senior council president. Hey, class of 23. I'm Kanai from the BK, running to be your senior council president. Whoa. I'm the event and social media manager from History Club. You think Kanai is a good manager? She's great. I volunteer every week to help out with several different events. Through my experience of hosting events and fundraisers for clubs, volunteer, and my ballet school, I have plenty of experience with most of some of my ideas for better than that, and a week just for the years. What do you want on your time? Great question. I would like to introduce several new events such as Field Day, Senior Crown Day, Game Night, Senior Lock-In, Just Red Like the Old Me Day. Day, Senior Movie Night. I also have ideas such as changing and decorating the fences, so check out the election website for more information on my platform ideas. A vote for me means a vote for celebrating our senior year is the best way possible. So, A hi, vote for Kanai. A hi, vote Kanai. A hi, vote Kanai. A hi, vote Kanai. A hi, vote Kanai. weekly tours of the Holocaust Museum for seniors who haven't yet gotten the chance to see it. I plan on making snow senior snow and allowing for seniors to go out during their gym periods when it snows. Lastly, I want to end our year off with a senior scavenger hunt, leading us through all of our old classrooms and with that bringing back our amazing memories. Class of 23, our hard work deserves to pay off. I promise to give you all the most rewarding and well-deserved senior year. So with that, go out with a bang. I got the S.O.
kids. I'm Andrew Freeland and I'm improving this. Y'all making new events like a cooking competition and a fashion show that you won't want to miss. When they see the decorations, they see it, they be stopping. Y'all educated about cultures, yeah, that stuff be popping. Mirrors in each bathroom, how confidence in classrooms, student verse, faculty games. Y'all getting lots of fame. Leave it to Andrew Brown, science gonna be balling. Young Freeland, yeah, I'm solving all these problems. Hello Suki, thank you so much for taking time out of your very busy schedule to interview me. Who am I? I know I've lived with you for the last six years, but I'll tell you anyway. My name is Hayden Klinger, I'm on the SO cabinet, and I want to be your SO secretary. What's that? How am I going to introduce more big events at the school? Great question. This year, I chaired the Freshman Fringle slash Sophomore Social. Now, I'm going to create a version of this event for all grades. I also plan to bring back an in-person Clash of the Colors. What's up, buddy? I mean, Mr. Suki. What do I think of teachers posting all assignments on Google Classroom? Teachers that post all of their work on Google Classroom make it so much easier to manage work and make missing a day of school so much less stressful. This is why I plan to work with all of the department heads to encourage teachers to post their assignments on Google Classroom. What's that? Dad bought you a brand new Ferrari, but you're a classic New Yorker who doesn't know how to drive? This is why I plan to create a bulletin board and website dedicated to driver's ed resources. Getting a driver's license is not only important in preventing us from being classic can't-drive New Yorkers, but also crucial towards getting a state ID. Now remember, don't be Hayden, vote for Hayden. Vote, vote for Hayden. Hayden! Vote for Hayden. 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 Hey Bronx Science, my name's Evan and I'm running to be your next SO Secretary. As a Senator, I volunteered at many SO events and I understand how the cabinet works. With that being said, I'd like to bring change to our school community and your vote can help me do that. Now let's get onto my platform. One of my first policies would be to expand our school's standardized testing resources. This means more books that look like this, that can help students prepare for Regents, SATs, and AP exams. Additionally, when students can't be in the library, they have a right to be able to access quality resources, which is why I would organize a spreadsheet dedicated to storing the school's academic resources digitally on the school's website. Secondly, I want to organize town hall meetings to discuss mental health and stigma. I would petition for more education on racial and gender equality, as well as on income disparity. For those of you who are into the arts, I have something for you as well. We don't have much of an emphasis on the arts here at Bronx Science, but I hope to change that by advocating for more in-class education on music and visual arts. We can certainly broaden our horizons by appreciating the art that's around us. Finally, I feel a disconnect between the upper and lower classmen, which is why I propose that we go beyond the Big Six program, pairing an upperclassman homeroom with a lowerclassman homeroom to meet once a month. I hope that the underclassmen will benefit from the upperclassmen's experiences and that we can all foster friendships outside of class. Hey, my name is Kaz, I wanna be your next vice president I tackle issues with a passion, I ain't never hesitant Got a mind full of ideas, man, I wanna set a precedent Listen to my voice and you will see it's pretty evident I wanna make a switch, let's talk about the weekly dish Promoting cultures and good eating habits faster you can get Let's have a healthy eating student body, that is what I wish But of course you can take your cheat days and I don't ever snitch Now this was for the NAC, a policy I'll oversee And now I'll give you student issues that I'll tackle with diplomacy I will push for Wi-Fi boosters, but much to you will see School will be persuaded once I get student a box seat. Next is energy break, you can't stay awake, your head will start to ache. Health is something you should not forsake. Here's a picture of Drake. Allowing seven minute rest, you get no freeze with this is best, you get no lunch with this will bless and surely you will feel less stress. This will come up last course election came around fast. Student tech course reviews accessible to the mass. NHS credit for this work online send in the big perk. Finally morning trivia, and now I'm at a loss of words.
Thank you for electing me to be Bronx Science's next SO Vice President. Wait, wait, wait. Andrew, we haven't quite gotten there yet. Hi everyone, my name is Andrew Morrison and I'm running to be your next SO Vice President. Before I tell you a little bit more about my platform, let me talk to you about why I'm the most experienced candidate to be your next Vice President. I've been a member of the SO Cabinet for the past few years and I'm currently our SO Junior Chief of Staff, which means that I've worked with SO student leaders, such as this year's Vice President, to make real effective change for the Bronx Science community. Hey, Andrew, what fun events do you have planned for next year? When you elect me as your next SO Vice President, I'll get to work on planning fun events for the student body. This is a three-on-three -three basketball tournament, an ice cream social, and... Andrew, can you please help me figure out what courses to take next year? Let's do it. As your next VP, I'll establish new course selection resources, such as a website dedicated to underclassmen, that publishes information about course selection given to them by upperclassmen in order to be able to navigate which courses they want to take for the next year. Wait, but Andrew, how are you going to work towards building a better Bronx Science? I'll be sure to teach students about the effects of composting as well as, as initiate a composting program where students can use their own compost to make a greener Bronx Science. When you elect me to be your next SO Vice President, I'll be sure that we can have a wellness day where I'll invite professionals in to teach students about how to lead a healthier lifestyle, both mentally and physically. That's all for now, Bronx Science, but on April 6th, you know what to do. He is a devoted student, a loyal friend, and simply a caring and honest man. He's efficient! He's so innovative. He is so... Batteries. Batteries. Hey Bronx Science, I'm Rani Shaham, and I'm running to be your next Vice President. I'm a junior, member of SO Cabinet, varsity baseball player, and congressional debater. This year, I've led a number of initiatives, including the Ukrainian donation drive and upcoming voter registration event. Let's get real. Bronx Science students are exposed to drugs, sex, alcohol, and mental health struggles far before junior health. So it's time to bring health education into underclassmen gym and freshman advisory so that they can get the education they need. As a varsity member myself, I know that Bronx Science students are incredibly competitive and impressive athletes. That's why I'm bringing student faculty sports games to Bronx Science, so you can roast your favorite teachers on the field. Let's get Bronx Science more politically involved through discussions with alumni, participatory budgeting, and voter registration drives. Let's get Bronx Science more beautiful through expanding Leave Your Mark and having a compost design competition so we can lessen our footprint. Finally, Let's increase Holocaust education through increasing access to the museum and bringing in survivors to speak. So remember, keep calm, vote Shaham. Keep calm, vote Shaham. Keep calm, vote Shaham. Keep calm, vote Shaham. He's the current secretary. He can take on any fight. He won't let you down. He's determined. Hey Bronx Science, I'm Sud, and I'm running to be your next SO President. As your current SO Secretary, a member of Cabinet, and a morning announcer, I have the passion and qualifications ready to fulfill this role. I want a more inclusive school community. Bring an outside cultural dance troops to showcase their talent and diversify our school experience. Let's bring in more town halls to the school community, and let's push for BIPOC and LGBTQ plus education. I want to have a closer school community. Let's have family game nights. Let's have more comedy shows. Let's have a school cook-off. What about mental health? Let's have a permanent Zenden. Let's send out monthly mental health service to monitor stress. Let's create a mental health committee and let's have a tea kettle in the back of the cafeteria. I want to get hyped about athletics. Let's have a pep rally, an athletic showcase slash competition, and let's advocate for some basketball hoops in the courtyard. But what about the environment? Market. Let's have a week around environmentalism and let's have Bronx Zoo researchers come in to teach our students. I want to have more fun. Let's have a faculty dunk tank and let's have a fresh and fringle type event for all grades. What else, son? We're going to advocate for discontinuation of mid years for future years. We're going to have a Google form sent out so you can report the hotspots throughout the school. And we're going to have increased transparency. So remember, on April 7th. Hi Bronx Science, I'm Elizabeth Lily Mata, a current junior running to be your president. Here are my campaign ideas. Food baskets in the cafeteria to limit food waste. Add more recycling bins. <laughs> Tea tables during regions. I love tea.
Teacher versus student athletic games. <laughs> one on one college essay helps. This is the worst thing I've ever seen. I need to change it all right now. Um, if I were to do this again, I would. I would do it. Implementing a train buddy system for freshmen. In addition to these ideas, I will also create a student mental health committee, hold more diversity town halls with guest speakers, implement a grab and go lunch bag station in the cafeteria, increase summer job internship opportunity resources, and more. Don't be silly! Vote for Lily!